welcome back to my channel. I've been asked to make an updated entire handbag collection video from many of you guys. So I decided to make a final entire handbag collection video for 2015 before my son wakes up. Let me go ahead and start with the smallest handbag that I own. So this is Chanel mini flap, the square shape, lambskin, red color with the ruthenium hardware. Looks like so inside. There's a little pocket as you guys can see. And there is a zipper little pocket as well and big compartment in the middle. This happened to be made in France. On the back, there's a little pocket, which I don't really use, but you can definitely put a piece of paper, things like that, or business cards. I am 5'4 uh, for the reference. It looks like so, it sits really well. Rectangular mini will sit lower, so this sits kind of higher, I mean short, shorter shoulder drop, I'll say. Looks like so. Crossbody, I absolutely love, love, love wearing this crossbody actually, uh, even though it looks pretty short, I think, on me. But I find this handbag looking so cute, uh, crossbody. Really, really love it. Absolutely love this lambskin for this handbag so much. Next I have is Louis Vuitton favorite size MM. It comes with the size PM, which is a smaller one. This is the bigger size it comes with. Love, 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 love this handbag so much. I got it in Paris when I went there with my husband. So this is made in France. I really love that. Also inside there's one pocket. Comes with the ivory lining, the compartment I normally stuff with this air paper in it so it keeps the shape. Has the magnetic closure which comes very handy, it's so easy to open and close. Love that, very functional since it has the shoulder strap which is removable. You can wear it on your shoulder, again I'm a 5'4 so it sits like so. Uh, I don't find it too long or too short on this setting, but I normally wear crossbody. It's very, very easy handbag. I open and grab something and just close and I don't really have to zip it up or anything like that. So I really, really love this handbag so much. You can, of course, wear it with the little chain, which is really pretty. This is the gold hardware one, so Damio Zor, did I say that? So looks like so on your shoulder without the shoulder strap. So just imagine not having shoulder strap, you can detach it. So this chain you cannot detach but one can be unhooked. So in here you don't have to, if you're gonna wear it as a clutch, just tuck this in inside of the handbag and voila, it becomes a clutch. So you can go out uh, with your girlfriends or date night. It's really, really handy. I love this handbag, very, very functional. That's the reason that I got another favorite because it is my favorite handbag. Uh, yeah, so this handbag and that one are the ones that I use the most, I will really say because Nowadays, I don't have to carry too many things for my little boy, so I grab this and go anytime when I don't have time to even think about what to uh, bring with me. And I uh, wear a pretty casual outfit most of the time, so I love this handbag. Anyways, magnetic closure again. Love that. Love the lining, of course. Red, I love. There's a uh, pocket, little pocket right there again. And it's the same thing. You can use it as a clutch. Looks like so. It goes really well with my outfit today. It looks just fantastic. It's very chic. Love the Dami Abin print. It looks very chic and understated. Love, love, love. I normally use this Dami uh, Abin one for the fall and this, uh, the winter. Sorry, guys. But normally, I even wear this during the summer and the spring when it rains or the weather is not good. I always pop this out with me. So, love it. Of course, crossbody. Let me show you guys quickly. It looks like so on the shoulder. Crossbody. Looks very casual, you know. 
hands free. I love that. Okay, so next I have is my Chanel Bowie bag. This is a size old medium. So the smaller size medium it comes with. So this is the lambskin again, red with the antique brushed gold hardware. When you open it, it looks like so. There's a little pocket on the back, slip right there. Big compartment, one big compartment. So this handbag is so gorgeous, very luxurious. Love how it opens up. Very, very easy again. The handbag is very, very light, but the chain, it has a good weight to it. I love this uh, leather tab, which is very, very comfortable on your shoulder. It never digs in. Love that. This handbag is very light. Love wearing it crossbody again. I love the uh, handbag sitting kind of high on me nowadays. Love how it looks. Very cute. Even I find this handbag very sexy. Uh, I don't know what you think, but I love that. Um, it's a perfect bag to go evening out, date night, of course, dinner, great. Shopping, of course, it will, but I don't really do. Anyways, this is the boy medium, old medium size. That is that. Next, what I have is Louis Vuitton twist here. Noir, epi leather with the silver hardware. The lining is microfiber, black color lining. There is a little mirror on the back right here, which I never use. And there is a little slip pocket right there for the mirror. On the front, there is one pocket uh, right here, which fits my um, card holder. That is really cool, right? So when you close, there is twist again. Love the twist. And I just made a video on this handbag, so you guys can go ahead and check that out if you guys are interested in more information on this handbag. Sorry guys, I'm talking a lot, so oh, bear with me. So how that's how it looks on me. Again, I'm 5'4", so yeah, it looks like so. It looks very comfortable. This handbag goes with about anything. Um, of course, it's black and I love epi leather. Looking very matte finish. Love that, very chic. Very, very chic looking handbag. Uh, love this handbag. It comes with various of uh, color option that you can choose. I went with the black, I love it. And it is stunning, stunning handbag. Yeah, that's the twist. It's a very interesting bag. And the next that I have is the Matisse Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton on the bag. I hope I have it open. Uh, there is the microfiber lining. It does have a little pocket with the zipper pull which comes in very handy. Love that pocket. When you open it, love this lock right. It's just stunning. Very shiny. Gold hardware, so there's a big compartment in the middle. Mine is made in France. On the back, there is a big area that you can put your iPad mini perfectly, even with the case. Here on the front, there is a pocket as well, so three accordion style uh, compartments. Close it, it looks like so. I have the Hermes Twilly wrapped on the handle, um, like so. So the shoulder strap. Uh, it comes with the seven holes on your shoulder, sh shoulder strap and I have the setting fifth. So it sits pretty low on me right now because I normally wear this handbag crossbody as well. I love small crossbody handbags a lot. So yeah, looks like so. It can be casual. It is very casual looking handbag since I wear it crossbody a lot. but. It can be dressed as well, I believe, and you can just detach this shoulder strap and you can wear it just like so. It's really, really cute and looks small little briefcase. Love this handbag. It's very, very pretty, pretty handbag. Next that I have, you guys haven't seen this handbag. I got this bag uh, before I went to Hawaii because 
Anyway, it's a long story to tell you guys. I haven't shown you guys uh, this handbag on my channel, but if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already know that I got this bag. Anyways, this is Clunny size BB. It comes with the size medium MM. The color is Grenade or Grenade. Love the pink color. It's just pop of pink. Epi leather again. It looks like so on the shoulder. Pretty long, uh, so I normally wear crossbody. I always wear crossbody like so. It's so so cute and pop of color, understated, durable, looks chic. Love red, I mean pink color. You guys all know I love pink. Four feet on the bottom. I do need to make a video on this handbag. Love the magnetic closure right there. Two pockets on the back, one zipper pocket on the front big compartment in the middle love that so close up like so looks very very cute and ladylike on the shoulder i mean not the shoulder crook of your arm next the handbag that i have it's a jumbo uh, from chanel this handbag is i would say the top uh yeah top the first i think i would say in my collection i love this handbag so much even though I don't wear this handbag that much, to be honest, because it's pretty heavy. Um, I do have a shoulder problem, so I tend not to carry this handbag a lot, but it's very, very functional and love how classy the look is. And yeah, how can you not love Chanel uh, flap? So this is double flap, uh, caveat leather, black with the gold hardware. Opens up, you guys all know how. It looks inside. I have made review and what fits inside uh, on my channel. So I'll put the links down below. On the back, there is a little slip pocket where I put my iPhone 6 Plus and it sticks out a little bit, but it's fine. It looks like so when you have it there. And actually, you can wear it, have um, tie, tie it uh, with the ribbon inside. I. I don't know, I cannot show you guys right now. But anyways, when you have that become shorter, I do wear that quite a bit like this way. Uh, when I get sick of wearing, you know, with the two uh, double like this way. But I never wear it cross body because it looks pretty big on me, too big on me. So I don't like to bump into anybody with that uh, wearing cross body. So I do that. That is the best investment I've ever made, I think, uh, in my opinion. The handbag, you know, my collection. Here is my Louis Vuitton Alma PM, size PM, the color go click it. It is epi leather. Love epi leather. It's so pretty. I love how it does look kind of shiny a little bit, but when you get closer to it, it looks kind of like matte finish. I really love how understated epi leather is. Just shows LV right there, just a little bit, and it looks so chic. Elegant, classy, it has everything that you name, um, positive, anything for handbag. I really, really love how ladylike it looks on, uh, and hold it this way. I love the solid red color on this bag. It just makes, I don't know, any outfit look pop, and I just adore it. Yeah top one of the top handbags I have love it but honestly I don't really use this handbag that much since I have a little one and it doesn't come with the shoulder strap even though you can buy it I used to have the shoulder strap with the green one that I had which I sold to get this one um, but that really digs into my shoulder since the epi leather does that so anyways I yeah I don't Want to get the shoulder strap for it but i do love wearing it i every time i get to wear it i really enjoy it that is that i do have a couple of video on that handbag also here is my chanel coco handle black caviar leather i don't know if you guys can see it's black but some people say it looks like blue or navy blue or gray color but it is jet black it looks so so gorgeous i love the big uh thread stitching can you guys see that i love that and the poofiness on this handbag very very lovely 
uh, CC turn lock, when you open it, looks like so. It looks just like the GST, like big, you know, two big compartment. It's organized handbag. Very, very lovely inside. It fits a lot. I have a video on this handbag, more details on it. I'll put the link down below so you guys can all check them out if you guys are interested in this bag. But this bag is seasonal, so a lot of my subbies email me to find this exact bag to buy, but you know, they cannot find it because it's all sold out uh, worldwide, I think. On the bottom, four feet. Love this handbag. Very, very functional. Very classy and elegant. Love that. Very chic. Understated. Um, ruthenium hardware with it. And it comes with the shoulder strap. Pretty thin, but it's strong, I would say. Handle, I love. And on the back, there is the uh, big pocket. Love it. On the shoulder, looks like so. Very, very lovely. I love wearing it this way. Normally wear it uh, this way, and when I have to wear a crossbody, I do. And I find it a little bit short on me, but when I have to, I do. So it looks like so, but you know, it's all right. That's what I would say. So next that I have is my um, Brea from Louis Vuitton, the size MM. This is Epi Leather, ivory color. Can you guys see that? It looks like white but ivory and with the silver hardware, it just looks fresh. Very, very clean. This handbag seriously goes with everything and anything. Dressy, casual. I love this bag so much. Uh, I love epi leather in general. I think I love it. I have a little charm here on the side. Yeah, I did make a review video, I believe, so I'll put the link down below if you guys are interested. It is the ivory color. I've had this handbag over a year now, and I don't have any color transfer. I don't have any marks or scuffed. Uh, nothing. It looks brand new to me. <laughs> yeah, I wore it a lot, to be honest. Yeah, I wore this handbag a lot and functional. There's one pocket right there and two pockets on the other side. Um, yeah, love this handbag. Let me show you guys how it looks on me. Looks like so. Very fresh. Love that look of it. And you have the shoulder strap. Looks like so. Pretty short so you cannot wear a crossbody. So that's how it looks on me. Next what I have is Prada double bag, they call it Cure Bag uh, also. Um, this is a size mini. It comes with mini, small, medium, large, I think. Um, so size mini is brand new size that they came up with, but it's not mini at all. Uh, it's really, I mean, it's a medium size to me. I love this handbag so much. Very easy handbag, has the two top handles as you guys can see love 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 is Safiano leather very durable um, the color turquoise uh, this is for 2015 or uh, 15 fall uh, color so I got this in Hawaii and I absolutely love it and inside the lining is mint color there is a magnetic closure open pocket in the middle it's pretty thin so you cannot put anything bulky but there's a ton of space in this handbag so that is that let me show you guys quickly how it looks on me looks like so there's no closing anything like that so that can be cumbersome for some people um, but I don't find it you know not so ever anyways so it looks like so and when you have a crossbody again 5-4 looks just like this I find it very very functional handbag love it comparison of it side by side for the size this is a size small so this is a size uh, small double bag again I love this handbag so I had exact handbag black with the red lining just like this one uh, size medium before that was the first bag that I got for the 
double bag and I absolutely loved it I love it so much black with the red lining it reminds me of Christian Louboutin black pump with the red sole love that look it looks so so chic love it anyways I sold that bag since it was too big on me after using for a while I sold that bag to get this one and I am really really happy with the size and overall everything it is one of the really popular bag that Prada makes uh, the combination of it so there's four feet on the bottom inside lambskin um, lining red color same again magnetic closure open uh, compartment there you can close it and it comes with the shoulder strap so when you wear it on the crook of your arm looks like so and with the shoulder strap on your shoulder let me show you guys looks like so it will be perfect handbag for work documents everything will fit in here size mm will be the perfect work bag looks very very sophisticated love it i love this bag very much so that is that and my uh, another prada this is a safiano lux tote in the size mm i mean medium size the color camille it's dusty pink color love this color and the bag I have never had any issue with the Safiano Lux tote I mean Safiano in general I know a lot of people had problem with that cracking or things like that I've never had that issue I've had it over a year now I love this handbag so much it goes with any kind of outfit when it's like warm tone love that looks like so I happen to wear this handbag during the fall and winter more than the spring and the summer. I don't know why, but I did that and it goes really well with the red color, burgundy, um, things like that. I love this handbag. So I do have the review video on it inside. Um, yeah, I will put the link down below if you guys are interested in looking into it. My one and only Fendi item that I have is this peekaboo uh, this is size medium calf leather love this handbag so much it looks very 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 elegant I love the style of the bag one top handle in the middle it's very very cool actually the way how they designed inside there is two big compartments right there love 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 this handbag so much um, it comes with the shoulder strap which is pretty thick I would say so it does look kind of casual with the shoulder strap in my opinion and you can wear it shoulder and the cross body as well it sits kind of high right now because the setting is pretty up right here when you put it down it does sit lower so you can wear it that way but this handbag I wear a lot of times this way it just looks the best in my opinion so I do that and it looks very good on here too and the lining is suede leather so five feet on the bottom that is that oh the color of it is magenta and it looks kind of washed off in the video but it's very very pop of magenta just solid magenta color love this color so much okay next pink color handbag that I have is this is my one of the bags that I would say top five uh, that will be in it anyways this is Louis Vuitton Montaigne size MM sorry guys it's getting dark here and it's gonna rain soon so sorry guys about the lighting but anyways it looks I think that's true color um, love this pink it has a bit of a, a red undertone I think but yeah sometimes it looks like red when it's a little dark but when it's brighter it looks more pink I love this color the color name is Dahlia I love ombre leather it does come with the monogram print as well and the great thing is that this handbag is not heavy when you consider the full leather handbag and Louis Vuitton ombre uh, it's not heavy at all I love this handbag this is one of the bags that I use a lot, a lot. 
Love the compartments, it's very organized. Uh, three big compartments in there. Love it so much. It comes with the shoulder strap. I know guys, I keep saying love, love, love. I mean, if I didn't love these handbags, I would not keep the bags, right? Because I do sell quite a bit and yeah, buy. So if I keep them, that means I really, really do enjoy using. Love that. So it does come with the four feet on the bottom as well. That is that. The next that I have uh, is <clears throat> Louis Vuitton Retiro, the new model Noir with the monogram. It comes with different colors option as well. So love this handbag. I just made a review video not too long ago, so I'll put the link down below. So it looks like so. Looks very, very stylish, yet I think it's a little understated when I uh, compared to the Vichetta leather with the monogram, it kind of tones down a little bit and you don't really have to worry about water stain, um, Vichetta leather getting dark, anything like that. So love that. This handbag is just very classy. Shoulder strap looking like so. It comes with uh, five holes and I have it on the highest setting. So. <clears throat> That's how it looks, and you can wear crossbody, but actually I have a setting really short, so I cannot really do that. You can do that when you have the setting lower. So, yeah, that's how it looks. So the lining is microfiber. And here is my kimono. This handbag is uh, eye-catching. I would say this bag, whenever I pull it off, I mean, whenever I go, People, just anywhere they comment and they come up to me, just strangers come up to me and say about this handbag, really great compliments on this handbag. So I do quite enjoy wearing it uh, and you know, yeah, love it. So this is kimono. It does look like the Japanese um, traditional uh, clothing that they call kimono, which I do have at home actually. My a good friend of my Japanese friend gave it to me a long time ago. Uh, every time I pull this out, I think about her. So anyway, sorry guys, my voice is going um, crazy. Okay, so here, V. That's uh, something special about this handbag. Love the cut. And this is the, I would say, most loud handbag that I have, in my opinion, because monogram and the red contrast together. but. To me, they look classy. Uh, the more I look at it, the more I use it. I really love it. It goes with a lot of outfits, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> so, love that. I think the red goes really, really, really well with the monogram. I really love this handbag. Four feet on the bottom. I wore this uh, to go out of town for the weekend trips like three times already and I absolutely enjoy um, carrying it. Here is, oh sorry guys, I, let me show you guys how it looks on me. You wear it, I normally wear my handbag just in general like this way. That's my preferred way. But when you wear on the shoulder, it looks like so, very stunning with the red picking out the monogram, looks like so. And it does slip off, just like uh, all the totes do, but uh, this one handle being standing upward, um, it doesn't really slip off, you know, if you know what I mean. So yeah, it sits comfortably and looking really stylish, I love that. Okay, so next that I have is Louis Vuitton Never Full Size MM. This handbag is another top 5 handbag that I would say. I love this handbag, especially in the Dami Azur print. I, yeah, I really, really love and I got this in Paris, so it is made in France. Uh, it's really hard to get the made in France uh, Never Full nowadays if you live in the US. Anyways, it comes with the pouch because this is a new model, so this pouch can be usable. It is, uh, you can detach and attach to the D-ring. Looks like so. There's not much to say about Neverfull because everybody knows, right? And it's a 
perfect tote handbag. I don't really like tote bag. That's just not uh, for me. I, I enjoy handles and on the crook of my arm that's the way I like but this handbag is just a different story. I love Neverfull. It can just put a lot of stuff and actually I really like Damia Zor with the Vichetta leather even though I don't really really like Vichetta leather getting dirty so forth color changing but Damia Zor with the Vichetta leather I think they look perfect I really really love it anyway so I don't really worry about Vichetta leather getting darker on this one love that so then uh, let me show you guys the bag that I carry every time I go out of town, uh, every time I just go weekend trip, uh, travel for a week, two weeks, it doesn't matter. I always, always carry this one with the crossbody uh, handbag together. This handbag, long sham, uh, it is indestructible I would say it is just so tough you can wear it in the rain <laughs> waterproof uh, very 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 amazing handbag I will say this handbag is a must uh, I um, carry this handbag quite a lot when my son was small and I had to carry like liquided you know stuff so I didn't want to ruin my handbag so this bag looking chic um, all black this does come with the different so many different colors sorry guys it's really dark right now so I have to finish up here but anyways this is a long sham it's all black and I will find the site and put the link down below if I find the exact same one uh, this one is my first long sham bag that I got ever and I love it so much and this look really small but it fits so much oh my goodness it really fits a lot it's like speedy you know so I use this handbag most of the time uh, like 90% of the times it's sitting under my uh, the stroller for my son so liquid just you know no problem so this is it and thank you so much for watching I'll get back to you with the next video bye bye guys